diabase adolorite microgabbro is a mafitch polycrystalline subvolcanic rock equivalent to volcanic basalt to plutonic gabbro. Diabase dikes and sills are typically shallow intrusive bodies and often exhibit fine grained to aphanitic chilled margins which may contain tachylite. Diabase is the preferred name in North America. Dolerite is the preferred name in most of the rest of the world, where sometimes the name diabase is applied to altered dolerites and basalts, though many petrologists prefer the name microgabro to avoid this confusion. Petrography. Diabase normally has a fine, but visible texture of euhedral lath-shaped plagioclase crystals set in a finer matrix of clinopyroxene, typically oxide, with minor olivine, magnetite, and ilmenite. Accessory and alteration minerals include hornblende, biotite, apatite, pyrotite, chalcopyrite, serpentine, chlorite, and calcite. The texture is termed diabasic and is typical of diabases. This diabasic texture is also termed interstitial. The feldspar is high in anorthate, the calcium end member of the plagioclase anorthate albite solid solution series, most commonly labradorite. Locations Diabase is usually found in smaller relatively shallow intrusive bodies such as dikes and sills. Diabase dikes occur in regions of crustal extension and often occur in dike swarms of hundreds of individual dikes or sills radiating from a single volcanic center. The Palisades Sill which makes up the New Jersey Palisades on the Hudson River, near New York City, is an example of a diabase. Sill. The dike complexes of the British Tertiary Volcanic Province which include Sky, Rum, Mull, and Arran of Western Scotland, the Sleeve Gullion region of Ireland, and extends across northern England contains many examples of dolerite dike swarms. Towards the Midlands other examples include Roly Rag. Parts of the Deccan Traps of India are formed at the end of the Cretaceous also includes dolerite. It is also abundant in large parts of Curaçao, an island off the coast of Venezuela. In Western Australia a 200 km long dolerite dike. The Norseman Willuna Belt is associated with the non-alluvial gold mining area between Norseman and Kalgoorlie, which includes the largest gold mine in Australia, the Super Pit Gold Mine. West of the Norseman Willuna Belt is the Yalgu Singleton Belt, where complex dolerite dike swarms obscure the volcanic clastic sediments. The vast areas of Mafic volcanism, plutonism associated with the Jurassic breakup of gold Gondwanland in the southern hemisphere include many large, diabase, dolerite sills and dike swarms. These include the Karoo dolerites of South Africa, the Ferrier dolerites of Antarctica, and the largest of these, indeed the most extensive of all dolerite formations worldwide, are found in Tasmania. Here, the volume of magma which intruded into a thin veneer of Permian and Triassic rocks from multiple feeder sites, over a period of perhaps a million years, may have exceeded 40,000 cubic kilometers. In Tasmania dolerite dominates much of the landscape, particularly alpine areas. Ring dikes are large, near-vertical dikes showing above ground as circular outcrops up to 30 kilometers in diameter, with a depth from hundreds of meters to several kilometers. Thicker dikes are made up of plutonic rock rather than hypabyssal and are centered on deep intrusions. Used diabase is used as crushed stone and as ornamental stone. In Tasmania, being one of the most common rocks found, it has been used as a building stone for landscaping and to erect dry stone farm walls. 